Hey guys, Retired at 40 here, thanks for tuning in. Today I'm going to try something a little bit different. I'm going to freeze dry 60 eggs. And I went to the store and I picked up 60 eggs and it was $8.49. And the reason why I bring that up is because I've been looking at freeze dried food and it's really, really expensive it seems like. So I wanted to compare the two costs of freeze drying it yourself with fresh ingredients and purchasing it in a prepackaged type situation. So I looked for some of the common freeze dried ones. Uh, Mountain House is one of the ones I found and it was $26.32 for 13 servings. Uh, it said prepared it was three quarters of a cup. So to make this fair I want to make sure that one egg scrambled equals three quarters of a cup. Alright here's my one egg. This is my guinea pig. I just want to make sure everything's fair. That's where we're at about halfway up. So if you look at it this way, this would be $60, which to me is crazy. I paid $8.50. In Mountain House's defense, they do have bacon in there, but with the bacon, they also have lots and lots of chemicals and things that I can't pronounce in there, which I don't really feel very good about. So now that we know what kind of energy consumption the Harvest Right uses because of this video right here, we can kind of get a better idea of what 60 eggs is going to cost. Um, in comparison to the Mountain House prepackaged. So let's scramble 60 eggs. Okay, ready? Go! Alright, well, when I did this, I didn't really know how many I could fit onto here. Uh, 60 is probably actually too little. You probably do 80 to 100 and be uh, pretty safe, I think. Let's go put this in the freeze dryer. Okay, for our suggested dry, dry time, I'm gonna do nine hours of freezing and then nine hours of final dry. If you haven't checked out the suggested dry time video, make sure you check that out. I'll put a link above. All right, there's the kilowatt hours, 0, 0.0. And we'll let this freeze and we'll come back and check on it later. All right, looks like we're all done. 29 hours and 55 minutes. And looks like it took 18.47 kilowatt hours. Let's see what the eggs look like. out right I bet you can guess what I'm gonna have for breakfast this morning that's right freeze-dried eggs and a big plus in my book is that you can do 60 eggs and fit it all into two small bags these are still in this form if you powdered them like this I think you could probably get all 60 eggs into one of the big mylar bags which is big plus so I wanted to try and do these two different ways I wanted to try to leave them hole like this and then I wanted to try them in the powdered form also so I just took a, a meat tenderizer and smashed it down into the powder. Alright let's try the powdered first. I'm going to add water real slow. Wow it looks like it worked really good. It actually started to clump together again. If you're doing this in camping or something, it'd be great. You know, no refrigeration is needed. You just add some hot water, you can boil on a fire. Let's try these clumped ones next. All right, those turned out great also. It looks like they just came off the, the skillet. All right, well I would say both of them are a good success. Uh, the powdered eggs actually turned out a little bit better than the chunk ones, I think. So the powdered is probably better all around. It saves a lot of space and it turns out better in the end. I don't really know how the Mountain House ones are measured. I'm not sure how, exactly how many eggs are in that canister. 
but even if there is 60, which I don't think there is, um, the cost of the freeze-dried eggs at home is way cheaper. Our total kilowatt hours was 18.47, and my cost for a kilowatt hour where I live is about nine cents an hour. And so that, that gives you about a dollar sixty-six in energy costs. If you add the dollar sixty-six to the eight eight fifty for sixty eggs, you're talking just over ten dollars for sixty sixty freeze-dried eggs, which to me is a great deal. Hopefully you found this video helpful. If you did, take a moment to subscribe to the channel, retired at 40. In the meantime, remember to live life simple. We'll catch you next time.